Well, it's been another fascinating weekend of Premier League action. Plenty to go at both top and bottom ends of the table. Warren Ashurst and Jack Ogilby alongside me to uh, talk you through our thoughts and what might go on now between uh, the uh, big Christmas and New Year fixture schedule and, of course, the remainder of the season. And we'll start at the bottom of the table, Jack, because it was top against bottom Anfield on Saturday in the early kickoff. Yes, Liverpool maintained their unbeaten run and, of course, uh, flying high at the top of the table. But there were lots of positives to take for Watford in Nigel Pearson's first game in charge. They missed a bag full of chances at Anfield. It could have been a, a much different result. And I think there was certainly signs of optimism there. Absolutely, yes. He was in the stands for the 0-0 draw of Crystal Palace. I think he'll be pleased with what he saw before taking over properly and already look far more organised than they have done under Javi Gracia and Kike Sanchez Flores and the positives as well. Those chances that they missed Obviously, it's not a positive that they missed them, but they were creating them, and goals have been an issue this season. They have, and they're going to need to probably bring in a striker in the January transfer window. Keeping Troy Deeney fit is going to be crucial. Trying to bring in a new face as well is going to give them extra impetus. I suppose strikers are at a premium. Everybody wants to try and find one. Absolutely as well. And he took, we'll call it a gamble on Danny Welbeck in mm. the summer. And unfortunately, it's not worked out. Full of to uh, talent of the England forward, but he's injured again. But there's plenty of talent in this squad. Troy Deeney being back, I think it's going to be huge. They've got a focal point in attack. Andre Gray was not providing that. But they've also got Gerard Delafeu and his Malasai, who seems to be finding a bit of uh, fitness rather than form at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Watford 7-2, to two, by the way, to avoid relegation this season. And before they bring in a strike, which they're likely to do in January. It's certainly worth considering uh, having a go at 7-2 to two in case of the Hornets staying up, of course, this season. I think it will be shorter over the next couple of weeks, that's for sure. Uh, looking at the top four battle now, and I think certainly at the moment, Tottenham are the team in form around that sort of fourth to eighth in the table as things stand. Jose Mourinho's got them moving in the right direction. And I think now is the time, Jack, to get on Spurs to finish in that top four and qualify for the Champions League. Yeah, exactly. It's such a disjointed table and their recent running run uh, winning run, rather, has really catapulted them up the table. And beating Wolves, I think, is a real statement, mm. especially at Molyneux. Wolves were 12 unbeaten in all competitions before that game. And they dug it out. It wasn't a great performance. Maybe uh, the tactics weren't the best from Jose and Reno. There were a few tactical fouls on Adama Traore, certainly. But still, they're heading up the table. They are moving in the right direction, as we say, and 11-10 to 10 at the moment to finish in the top four. I think if you can get odds against Tottenham finishing in the Champions League places, take it now. Jose Mourinho knows exactly what needs to be done in terms of them moving forward and uh, getting into that top four. And after this weekend's crunch clash against Chelsea, who, of course, uh, sit above them in the table at the moment, they're three points ahead of their London rivals. They've got a pretty favourable fixture list. Yeah, well, that was some of the accusations aimed at Maurizio Pochettino and why they were so disappointed by the start mm. of the season, because it was fairly kind, wasn't it? And yep. the way the season, the fixture list works out, I think they can go on a good run now, head into the spring in fine form when the uh, Champions League returns as well and get a real head of steam. Brighton, Norwich and Southampton are the three opponents over Christmas and New Year. You'd expect Tottenham to pick up nine points out of those games. What about their North London rivals, Arsenal, though? I think disarray is a fair word to assess them at the moment. Uh, they were pretty poor, maybe not as poor as they've been in recent weeks, but still off the pace against Manchester City at the weekend. If City had wanted to, they could have gone and won by five or six in that game at the Emirates. As it was, it was the 3-0 but they just looked all over the place. They were terrible, weren't they, at times? They had the quick press on the attack in the City half, but once City worked their way through that, there was just no Arsenal rearguard at all. I was really disappointed, actually. It was quite fun watching how good Manchester City mm. were, especially Kevin De Bruyne, but Arsenal have got to sort out this managerial situation. There's talk of Mikel Arteta, but I have to say, Warren, I don't think he's the solution in this situation. I don't think he is. You don't want to be a first-time manager going into a club like Arsenal who seem to be in disarray at boardroom level, at club level. Nothing seems to be right at that football club at the moment. It's going to need an absolute upheaval, I think, to get them where they want to be. And I certainly think on that performance at the weekend, they can forget about the top six. And I think Arteta's got a real struggle on his hands. At nine to two for the Gunners to finish in the bottom half of the table this season. And we've seen how tight it is around midway. I mean, we're talking about the likes of Wolves and Tottenham have really picked up of late. Even the likes of Crystal Palace keep getting results and pushing up there. 
I could actually see Arsenal finishing in the bottom half. Yeah, well, I think if they appoint Arteta, he'll want to play Pep Guardiola football, and mm. Arsenal do not have Pep Guardiola footballers, do they? If they want to play out from the back, and it didn't work. It didn't work under Unai Emery. They're really struggling both for confidence and from a tactical point of view at the moment. Arteta comes in, he's got to bring a whole bunch of staff in as well mm. because they're still light on that front. I just... I don't know who the answer is, but I don't think it's Arteta. No, I think it needs an experienced hand at the tiller, I have to say, and, and I think it's going to need a massive upheaval of the squad. And whether the board will give him the money to spend in January is another question. They haven't really backed managers in previous seasons, so Arsenal well, with a lot of troubles as we head into the Christmas and New Year period. There are suggestions then on review of the weekend of some good bets going forward. Just to remind you, potentially Watford to stay up Tottenham to finish in the top four and maybe Arsenal to finish in the bottom half of the table this season. Let us know your thoughts on our suggestions on our social media channels and make sure, of course, that you subscribe also to our YouTube channel.